in terms of media buying, data has always played a critical role. Now, when the environment changes, the data reflects those changes. If indeed you are tracking the right data while also fully respecting and protecting the privacy of the people that you're trying to target. Now, data clearly shows that people's movement patterns have dramatically altered. Many of the people are staying at home. The schedule of their watching of the various programs has dramatically changed. The screens that they're watching has dramatically changed, the mix of the screens, and the kind of content that they're watching has changed. All this data is actually showing. And once you have got this kind of a data, for every brand, you need to identify, in addition to the right audience, the right context in which you are going to communicate your message in a most appropriate tone and manner. That's very critical. So for example, if you are a brand which is uh, marketing, say, uh, wet wipes, uh, disinfectant wipes, now, you know that the entire family is there and you know that they are watching multiplicity of programs either together or individually or whatever. Now, you have got your regular optimization programs and models which are available. So the first thing you need to really make sure is that you are absolutely tweaking or correcting or modifying your media plans completely based on the new audience behavior and uh, the, their viewing habits and viewing patterns, number one. Number two, from a context point of view, when you're peddling or when you're trying to sell or market these uh, disinfectant wipes, it's a very relevant product that is very contextually appropriate. So you can effort to be very direct and then tell them this is something which will help you in staying clear of this coronavirus and you can keep yourself and your family safe. I think that's perfectly legit. But if you're in the business of selling some luxury product, you have to be much more careful. On the one hand, who are you targeting? Now, people are going to come into the financial crisis at this point in time. Already, a lot of people have lost their jobs and their pay is going down and there are people on furloughs and all kinds of things happening. And you cannot be tone deaf and say, here is a fantastic luxury product that you should really wear and see how you can enjoy life and how good you can look. So the message is critical. The product that you're selling is critical. The context is very, very important. Right now, the larger context is that the whole world is in a crisis. So be attuned to it, be appropriate in terms of what you're communicating, that low high level one. Once you are assured that you got the right product or the right service, and that you have got the right tone and the right message with which you are communicating that, then I think that's when you come to the media plan and how you're buying media, and that's totally data driven and they're very sophisticated models. And thanks to how these mobile devices gather data anonymously, mobile as well as non-mobile these days, any connected device, how they gather the data and how they aggregate the data in an anonymous fashion. And you are able to target them fairly effectively. I think the enablement is fantastic and therefore the wastage factor from a marketer's perspective should be minimum at this point in time. And um, I think uh, the data modeling is pretty sophisticated. Plus also there are a lot of models which are out there which are powered by artificial intelligence, which makes the analysis happen on the fly in real time. Therefore you are able to direct your communication in a much more precise fashion. So when you talk of precision marketing, here's an opportunity and you can do, do so through various digital channels.